Oh, hey, happy, uh, what is it? Three, three? Three, three, three. Uh, March third, twenty twenty one. Day three of Gonseki. <laughs> <laughs> Your new life has begun. The journey that there is. Yeah, no, I think um, I, I think that we should. We've looked at those three Gonseki, we looked at Taito, we looked at the Soto Gaki, and they really did well. And I really think that if you go back through those now instead of waiting till maybe after all the other throws and really solidify that. Um, that will actually help him out a lot. What do you think? Well, let's uh, let's throw him a variation then. Uh, that's going to require a uh, masterful entry. Ooh. Masterful entry. Um, okay. Good, 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 uh, good principle to do the entry and yep. placement. Uh, we'd love to see that. Um, I think you got just the one. Yeah. Okay. I think you do it. Yeah. I mean, I'd love them. I'd love them to be able to just to like. Just have it. Snap it. Just have it. Out. Yeah. Even yeah. if it's not too perfect, but they, they, by the end of the class, they can say, "Listen, you know." If someone comes to me and grabs me, I'm pretty confident I can throw their ass to the ground. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so. I, th I, th I think the two worlds will collide. I mean, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Let's do it, man. All right, All right. cool. Oh, yes, yeah. All right, happy birthday, everybody. Okay, so we're in a throw phase right now. It's our, it's our desire goal of having guys be able to get to a position where you, if you feel the ability to enter into a throw, you just execute it. It's just there. You, know, you don't want to have to sit and think about a throw. You're, you're usually uptight and close with somebody. It's like, oh, you, you don't want to give it away. You just want it to be natural. You know, you're kind of joking around. You know, like once COVID's done, you know, I'd love to be in a position where somebody gives you a hug. Your natural tendency is to hug them and throw them. Because that's the only interaction you have, usually with somebody with an arm group. So if we can get there, you know, so after all they've done, you just throw it around for three months, we've accomplished our job. <laughs> then we'll have to talk about backing it off a little bit. But that's okay. That's a different story. So tonight we're kind of going back. We looked at Gonsaki Maga, we looked at Tai Toast, we looked at the Soto Gaki. We're going to go back to Gonsaki Maga. Because, like we said, you know, having the foundation of those three will set you up very, very well for the next ones that we're going to, which are, I don't know, say a little more complicated, but they're a little more complicated. We're like, you have to be better at the things that make them win. Right. And so think of these as like the fundamentals, right? Where we were taking this, this next couple weeks to go back over those fundamentals so you just have them. All right, so we go into the other ones, like, okay, this is how you take that fundamental and a little tweak. And so, we can not say taking a step back or doing that so you'll have better success in the future. So, it's not going to happen. It's all right. As we all know, because we just done a couple days ago, I would like to educate tonight that we all have a pretty strict construction method. You know, some of the issues that we were having a couple weeks ago, we don't have those anymore, and we just kind of get there, we can find each other. That's kind of my goal for tonight. You know, just review what's happening in the middle position, pulling down, getting up here, pulling. Alright, just kind of getting that. Here, hold up. That's what we're doing. Just something nice. Something, a smooth entry. I don't want to see right now, like, hard entry. I don't want to see it being really throwy. I just want some good, solid entry. Okay? Go. Okay. So, okay. So, let's look at the finer points of kind of footwork coming in. So, you guys are doing good. You guys are doing good. I'm seeing a lot of good pulls in here. I'm trying to see a lot of good steps. I'm seeing a lot of, I want to take the oomph back and forth out of it. This one I haven't seen intensity is kind of going here. It's opening up as we go. And then there's people coming back. Fine. Perfect. Not. Let's see if we can crisp that up a smidge. As this comes in, know where this foot's going. Already pre-positioned to have the tip come out. So I don't have to go one, two. I'm already positioned to go this way. We're going to step to the outside of Jack's foot. And as this foot settles, this one readjusts. It's not a one, the quicker two step. It's not a one, two. It's a more of a settling in feeling. Does that make sense? All right, so let me go. No, this is good. Foot's there, so I can already clear the tip through to this position if I need to. It's not here, I can't clear the tip through. I have to go one, shoot. A lot of time. Really horizontal, do you see that? One. As this foot lands there, this one readjusts, and that pull up is done all at the same time. It's more of a repositioning than it is about the back transition. Does that make sense? That's a little snappier. Just a little bit, do you want to add that? That opening of the hip, it, 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 actually, if you want to show it again, just to point out where the, where the point of the hip is, uh, 
So you have the entry freeze right here. So see that, that open left hip? See how much further back his, his, his hip and shoulder are because of that? Now as he steps through, that foot can easily turn. Oh, easy. Yeah. It can easily move. So if you're starting with that, get that, get that hip open on your entry. Yeah. All right, cool. So there's two things going on with the jacket barrier. So as this foot comes in, I open this hip. Remember, I want this foot to be right about here. Anything further than that, I'm going to the side. Well, if I put that foot here and this foot remains here, this is not a great position for me. So as this foot steps, this one comes back. So how much to travel. Remember that acid that we worked out of removing the hip to get the throat? That's that part. That's that step back. One, so if I get this little bag, I'm getting here. I don't want to step over here. But then it's, it's, it's too much. I get into here. I want to step right there. No further, no less. Right there. But if I do this, my legs are very close to each other. And to get a good throw, it's not going to happen. So as this foot lands, this one takes back off. It's a one-two. What I'm seeing is people are going way too far this side because they're not moving this way. Does that make sense? So practice, as you come into this, make sure they're nice and tight to get this all set. See, okay, now step right to the outside of his pinky toe, and as I take that step, foot's coming back on the Make sense? Okay, go ahead. Mate, 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 Mate. So we're looking at, uh, think of this as, as like gun sucking and, and the sort of twist we're putting on it now is we're giving it a little bit more zip and pop as you settle into position, right? Uh, so what's happening, uh, people are doing a pretty good job of getting them off the off, staying close, opening up the, this lead hip. And what I've seen a lot of folks doing is they're stepping kind of one well in front of this foot, which is relying on, on me to kind of pull them onto my leg to get that top. I'm actually going to position my foot so it kind of takes the space of his leg a little bit. Uh, so as we come in, I'm not trying to be in front of him. I'm going to be trying to go through him a little bit. You can see there's some contact now between my calf and his shin. If he goes to try to push forward and put some weight on that, <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. They throw it in the towel. But the idea is that this part of their leg is kind of getting displaced this way. It's kind of getting displaced back. That gives you some of that pop so that when you later enter, you get this guy in up and over. Yeah? Does anyone see if they make the feel? Okay, here we go. This is why it's because what you think you got it? Mr. Man, right? If I could borrow you. We were just chatting about this over here and it came up over here. So uh, I want to talk about the uh, continuity here for a second. Uh, which, uh, go ahead, grab her to hold. Uh, we're moving in. We're, we're getting wrong. Looking pretty good. We're getting it here. Uh, and then what I'll, what I'll see sometimes is folks, we're still like focusing down on that place. So, uh, place. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, now I'm doing the throw in. You know what? Not bad. That's pretty good. But. When you lose that continuity, all the other mistakes start to build up. So even if you're going slow, I want to see you do this in one. Way easier. Even if you're going slow. But you're taking advantage of a momentary off-balancing. Every time now you stop and you, and you let the energy dissipate a little bit, their body's going to settle, little things are going to correct. Again, little mistakes start to pile up and you'll, you might even get the throw, but that's when you feel pulled off balance. Or other things. Go ahead, make the shape with your body and check it. Yeah? Keep going. Okay, for a second. So, everyone's trying to open that footwork for that, for that ending, which is great, but the thing is, now I'm starting to see the upper body connection go to shit. All right, if the upper body connection goes to shit, the footwork won't work. All right? It's like you're trying to drive a, you're trying to take straight and then you start going this way and the like, like, you can't give you that combination that way. So, we really need to focus on this hip pulling back, us getting in there. I need to feel comfortable and happy right here. If I don't feel comfortable and happy right here, there is no way that this transition 
is going to work. He's going to stop me. He's going to be doing something that's going to go wrong. I need to be happy there. So for some, get this hole. Get this in here. Get comfortable. Get happy. All right, and then you can go in. So what I'm seeing is, you know, the caution is going to keep it. It's just it's not working because this upper body is now then totally disconnected. All right, we need, we need to go through the whole thing. It's very tempting to go to the fun places. We've got to do the whole process, or the fun places will show up. Does that make sense? Okay, go ahead. Got to practice the pounds before you can get on the right side. Exactly. Who here has ever played um, basketball or some sport where you had to do suicide drills? Okay? So, you can do suicides a couple different ways. Where you run down the court, you turn around, you run back to the back. Well, if you're trying to get time because the coach will make you run more, so you'll be fast, invariably what happens is you don't go around here like, you don't use all that energy. You don't come to a full stop and start right up again. Invariably what happens is you judge the distance and you're like, and right back. You just change position in air. You ever want to talk about people who have done it? Yeah. Okay. That's kind of more the feeling of any of this. It's not, oh, it's just stopping, whoa, right back to the You thought about this the other week. It's the difference between turning and just reposition. All right? What I want everyone to do for a second is I want you to find a line. I want you to put your left foot down, like that's your plant foot that you're going in to do the throw. Okay? So I'm throwing this person like if they were here, right here. You're going to shift your weight so you can move this leg freely. You're going to step about a foot of head at the same thing. You're going to do that, that turning about. That feeling. Right. So it's not a plant and go back. It is that in the air at the same time. Both feet are almost for a second in air. It's a change of direction instantly. Not bad. Then a, then a step turn. It's just a reposition. You want this way, you want this way. It's a very good position. Okay. So now you can still go slow with this. Again, this all this stuff up here has to be good. All right. This whole this all this has to be solid. So I'm in that position, I just did that drill. I'm gonna to get to weighted so I can move this leg fine, and then I'm just gonna turn. I'm gonna get in there and do it. Keeping this close. This way. Okay? We're trying to find a way to make this snappier, so we're trying to get the extra movement. Alright, does that make sense? Alright, go ahead, give it a try. Alright, uh, Mate. So, uh, Mr. Adam's back tonight, can tell you. Uh, Let's talk a little bit about uh, posture for a moment, uh, because I'm seeing a few different things happen. I'm seeing folks sometimes a little too far out in front, their posture starts to lean left as they go to step into this, or you're almost getting kind of pulled back. I'm seeing that sometimes, and what happens is you get pulled onto your heels. That thing. I, I'm also seeing folks laying on top of the person, which maybe if you're going for like a, just a desperate whoa, and, and then just run into this thing for the finish line, and maybe you'll be all right. But all we have to do from here is back up and pull. And, and now all of a sudden I'm going, and I've seen a few people go down that one tonight. Shoulders, over hips, over knees, same rules of how my that you're used to. <laughs> the, whole, the whole thing kind of travels together. And what that does for you is that sets up the angle down the road. So, all right, we're looking pretty good. We make our placement, and here we are. The angle that we're going down, I don't want to open up my hips wide and, and swing back this far. That's not actually the angle. Here. I'm going to drop right straight out that way, almost like I'm stepping into an issue on you. Just let the hip rotate with it. So the angle itself, they're off balance here. Instead of opening like a door this way to try to throw them, you're kind of rotating and dropping off this way. You guys see that? Can I say it just, <laughs> I'm just going to say it a different way. Just, 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 
in the end, it only makes sense because you've just heard 18 different ways. So you do the throw again. So we know in the end, Mr. LeBay is throwing at him with this side on this side, right? That's where it's going to end. He starts. Freeze. This side and this side are parallel. All right? Can you throw somebody directly over parallel? No, you have to roll them over you. You have to roll them around. All right, that's not a throw. As he comes in, watch how those two angles separate. Oh, freeze. He's a little bit more upright. Adam's still here. As he finishes it off, they're going to be perpendicular. Yeah. That change in that angle with this is what is that opening? Remember we talked about that kind of pulling out the thing that's the biggest ball? He's holding, you're holding him up to this side the whole time. Whole time, whole time, whole time. That angle just changed. He's still here. It goes over. All right. So that's one of the reasons why it works. It's dramatically changing that angle, and then poof, he's falling over. Kind of pulling the rug out from under. Because if, if I'm falling this way the whole time, no, sorry. I'm falling this way the whole time with this pull. He's in my way with this angle. Do you see that? That pull is making me want to go that way. He changes the angle, then I go. Do you guys see that? I am. With that first pull, I'm already going. His side's in my way. Once he changes the angle, that side's out of the way, I go over. Okay? Now it's quick, it changes. That's my way of looking at it. No, and I think it makes a lot of sense. I mean, ultimately, guys, you're, you're, you're putting the foot down, just turn the drop and, and lift the drop head a little bit. Right. It, it, that's, your, that's your ultimate spot. You're essentially going to here, here. That's it. Just let that hip drop out straight. No need to make this. A big, wide, open swing or commitment or anything like that. You're yeah. just letting your hips fall back the other direction. And they're attached to you. That's for them. Yep. And they're, and they're attached to you. If you strike the angle, you'll get it. It'll happen every time. You know, but if you try to give your off balance, like, show one of those examples you had before. The kind of things are going on. Okay, now, our angles are totally messed up right now. If he comes through and tries to do this throw, look, so he's not perpendicular to you. This part of his body is upright, this one sideways. So what does he have to do? He has to cut out strength. He needs strength to make up for the bad angle. But if he has a good angle, he wouldn't have needed the strength. That makes sense? So just try to get a good boom, move, you know, step in, step out, and get a good angle on that person. It'll be a lot easier. All right? Go ahead. And for Mr. Lee, everybody, let's do it. Another note on posture, maybe. Another note on posture. Actually, Mr. Wayne, could you throw me? And I, I want to talk a little bit about my experience of his posture. So as he's coming in, he's entering. You can see uh, shoulders generally, generally up and down. He's not leaning forward. He's not leaning back. He's not leaning to the sides, right? We all see that. He continues to enter. Look at that posture. Good. Oh, there we go. Um, keep. Keep your posture under, under control. You're emphasizing that pull, right? Uh, when, you, when you emphasize that pull, Mr. Wayne told me, so here we are. All he has to do, he's not shoving me with this arm. That, that arm is really just a spacer. It could be doing other things. I mean, God, yeah, exactly. This stays tight, and all he has to do now is just enter and put his body in there. And the rest of it's history. By, by keeping it tight and emphasizing keeping your posture upright, you're going to have a much easier time than trying to lean and push. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Keep going. That was fun, thank you. <laughs> I was fun, I enjoyed that. Now my turn. <laughs> Alright, so who's up first? I'm just kidding. So, uh, so there's, there's a little feeling, and we were just chatting about how it might look with the sword and how maybe that visual aspect might help. Um, I'm seeing a lot of folks, they're entering for their throw. It's later, they're stepping, they're, they're putting the foot where they need to be, and then they're falling away and turning a little bit. The entry has a bit more curvature and cut to it. Uh, when I say, say I want to cut the sword, I don't go, hang on. That's very uh, elementary. Mm -hmm. Instead, everything's going to kind of turn and have a little bit of an arc and a slice to it. We'll see here, for example, it's a very different cut. Same idea as this, but you'll see it's operating on a, on a lot of another plane. It's operating on a rotational plane and coming in through. Um, Mr. Jesse, I could borrow your body here. 
Sure. Um, here's my sword. <laughs> there we go. It's not. Yeah. See, I'm already, I'm already running into problems. I can already feel myself running into the ship. I need him to come this way for me a little bit more. We're gonna rotate this a little bit. That's just very easy. This whole, and by rotate, we're not just doing this. Our whole body is kind of coming in. This touches, and then now this is the state with us. Otherwise, otherwise, if I could still borrow Mr. Jesse, I'm just doing this. That ain't gonna, that ain't, that ain't gonna kill him, right? Probably not, but I know it will. That'll kill him. <laughs> um, let that whole body come through, and there's some circularity to this, right? Do you guys see it? Is it visible with the sword? Yeah. See if you can see if you can find that feeling. Keep going. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jesse. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. I'm about to. This little bit is throwing me. I am um, right here. My belt is right here on this line. In the end, by the way, he wants my belt here, roughly. Make sense? So from where his starting point to my ending point, that's kind of the transition between the two. How we get there is a problem. It's the issue. And that's what we're talking about. If he takes that big step through, again, I, he wants my belt right there, my belt not right there. If he does this, he steps through, well, look at the path that my belt knot had to take to get over there. It had to go all the way over here, and then come all the way back. Well, that's inefficient. If he comes in and he gets this turn, the belt is still like looking straight at it. He steps in, he steps a little, oh, let's go right to it. Right over to that point. There was no out and back and down. It was just boom. Guys, I'm about five inches off. Yes, yes. <laughs> Very, oh, we, can I do it? I can edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? It started here, it ended here. But the path was this way. Because the way he put his leg in, and as he stepped out, it removed it. He turned and crossed right to it. He didn't take me all the way out here and down. So it was in the descent that way. Again, one time. He did not go out, take me all the way out here, and bring me back. Okay? He ended right where he wanted to, but the path sucked. He took the scenic route. I took it for apples. Yeah. He's going to pull it under me. Look, I'm still facing exactly where he wants me in. He steps in, steps out, right there. Do we see that? Because of his positioning, because he stepped out. One time. Please. He stepped to the outside of my foot. He vacated his hip with that step. I go right down. That's why we're pointing out those points. Am I on my heel? No. no. Yeah. He's turned, he's done, he gets me around. That's the point. Boom. See, damn, my, my center of gravity is dropping straight down in front of where I am. This turning is supposed to be moving at seven placement. That's the key. Steps out too far, has to be a scenic route. Takes me too far back, now he has to pull me around. Keeps it tight, drops me right there. Okay, go ahead. Try it on the line, guys. Yeah, try it on the line. Try it on the line. Mata, Mata, or you try So the reason that, you know, we're looking at that, it's really, really pickly. Is that a word? Pickly? Pickly, pickly. I mean, we're being really, really precise with you guys here. Is that, okay, we talk about that degradation, you know? And so, yes, you're, you're not able to get it at 100%. You guys like, I don't know, you're 90 and stuff like that. Well, when, you, when someone comes up and grabs you for the first time, you're like, oh my God, you're doing this. And you go into this, it's not going to be as pretty. There's going to be a degradation just because of all that. Well, I have a feeling what you guys are going to degradate you will still work. All right? It will still work. I got Adam coming up to me. It's like, oh, okay, he's driving up. I'm putting his here. I'm going to step on the ground. Oh, okay, okay. This technically part makes sense. I'm going to be happy. No, Jesus, no. I want you to go home. <laughs> you know, he's going to come up. He's ready to work. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, man. That was technically not pretty at all. What is it, efficient? Absolutely. <laughs> okay? And that's, that's kind of what we're looking at. So for the next couple minutes, just for fun, we don't have to kill each other. Let's get just a little rough. You know, it doesn't have to be anything bad. I'm not actually going to go faster. Like a jack out here. You know, just like, God, that's it, that's it, that's it. I'm going to pull it off. Yeah, it doesn't have to be fast. It just has to be there. 
All right, you'll note that it won't be perfect, but that's what you'd be a good compliment. So hey, someone grabs me, I can, I can take their ass and grab it. Mm -hmm. And that's a good piece of feeling to have in life. Make sense? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Uh, Mate. Hey guys, nice, uh, nice work on that. Uh, so uh, overall, what you just actually captured was a pretty, uh, you had to have a pretty high level of skill to make that version of, of John Sucking Out Game work well for you. And for the most part, I saw pretty great success. Uh, question, just going around the circle. Any, anyone have any thoughts, questions, or comments on this run? Left side. Left side. <laughs> oh, okay, another two hours, guys. Let's go. <laughs> uh, we're going to get some left side work on Saturday for sure. You're going to get a chance to work, to work your offside. Um, but, uh, Mr. White, anything from you, sir? Yeah, no, you guys are awesome. What we, what we, what we talked about tonight was just really hard. Like all the hours that we put on in Sarte Nage just let us be able to have that conversation tonight. Because if we were to talk about that left arm pull, that insertion, all that stuff and getting that position and, and vacating that hip to take care, any of that, if we didn't have all those conversations, all that work, there's no way we could have talked about El Cane now. We, we couldn't, we couldn't have. All right, because all that's happening in that split second. All this has to be perfect to be able to get into that. All right, and so you, you Congratulations, you've graduated to, graduated to a higher level of problem. And so you can see why this is a 20 year throw, okay? Well, and, and every time you made, and, and if you have any mistakes that you found yourself making consistently tonight, what led to the mistake, it's typically some kind of issue with the entry. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it almost always goes back to that. Oftentimes it has to do with not enough pull, too much push, mm -hmm. a little off balance. Uh, all this time you spent on that entry, as we put it, has been to kind of uh, nail those pieces down. Uh, so that you can have success with this version, and you'll, and again, it's good feedback. If, if places where you struggled with this particular throw are places where you can improve God's like overall. Right. And it's probably in your entry, but it's going to give you a hint. It's probably there. <laughs> it, it is, and it's probably a little bit different for everybody else. I mean, I hope, I'm hoping that last 10 minutes we all kind of just got in there and threw each other down. You guys are all successful. You know? I only saw like maybe one or two times that a tip I tape of throw did not happen. Usually it was actually pretty decent. The person's ass was on the ground. It was good. There wasn't a lot of there wasn't a lot of fussing around. You know, and the person went down. That's good. That's really good. Let's go back to like, you know, six weeks ago or seven weeks ago. Would you have said, okay, someone's just gonna come up to you, you're gonna throw them on the ground? You're like, yeah, no shit, probably not. Alright, so I mean that, that you you've got you have a tool now that's getting really, really refined. So now what we have to adjust for is speed and timing. This comes up, this is a surprise. You do not have to say, ooh, now this is a good opportunity for you to go back in again. Once you go back in again, or, or I need to. You'll never have that time to think about that. You just won't. This will be a surprise. You're not going to be able to access. So, what I want us to work on Saturday is I want you to find the one thing, that one key, that is probably a key to something you're con either messing up constantly, you know, that you have to remember. Like Jack, Jack, I was talking to Jackie. Jackie has a tendency to keep this arm out like this. And against a bigger guy, it would be there. So I don't want you to concentrate on getting the shoulder up into this armpit. You know, and it's like, that's it. That's the only thing I want you to worry about. You know all the rest of it. Your body's pretty good with the rest of it. That, I'm going to ask you to shove that out of my eyeball. Okay, I'll be good. Everyone will have something a little different. Glenn needs to work on a step up. All right, because he drives a rocket. All right. And so I want everyone to buy the NBA <coughs> class to have that one thing. So that this, when this happens, like, oh my God, like, okay, oh, I gotta really pull this thing. Like, oh, I'm gonna shove this up. Like, oh, you know, that, that they can access quickly. Because I think your body will remember the rest of it and you kind of start tonight because it kind of was. Does that make sense? All right? Because you're not gonna have time to go through the whole the whole instructional videos and then time the person actually starts to do these. Hold on, let me the Facebook out. Yeah, 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 hold on. <laughs> That's it, 1052 on the second class. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's not an option. Okay, so we need to be able to do this quickly, efficiently, with less thought, you know, with less, with less extraneous movement. And that's what I want to get to with you guys on this. And again, once you have that gun second, I was, so, I was actually just kind of sharing with Jackie earlier. I'm like, okay, and, that's, and this is how we, we transition into Raya Ghosh. And this is the only real <laughs> major difference, is this aspect and this aspect. And you're kind of in Haraya Ghosh. And so if you guys have this, that transition to like that, it will be easy. We talked a little about, okay, that rotation that goes into it, and like, okay, now I'm just going to do it here. Well, there's your Kunagre, you know? And so great, that'll be an easy transition. Um, so yeah, you guys are looking really good. That was a hard shot, so good, good job, good job.
Cornbread is here and it's available for the taking. Ooh.